We could fill our classes with the very smartest, best performers. But we choose not to. They've invented these new admissions schemes as a Trojan horse for discrimination. They rank applicants on several dimensions, academics, extracurriculars. They grade people in three things, academics, extracurriculars. Asian Americans, by and large, get much higher academic and extracurricular grades than other races, including whites. In each of those factors, Asians are in the top rank, except one, the personality ranking, where Asians suddenly drop to the bottom. Here's my guess. If you just admitted the kids who were the strongest students, Harvard would be 50 or 60% Asian. When I try to apply to these schools, everyone has this like, they know certain unsaid things about the admissions process. And part of the reason I wanted to do this interview was because Everyone's like looking for the same story and they don't really care what you have to say. Like it's always this Asian kid, high test scores, you mad that he get, didn't get in. Based on my understanding, I think the fact that I'm Asian American plays a pretty big factor into why I was rejected. I think admission officer definitely have, I don't know for sure, but either a hard or a soft culture on the number of incoming Asian students into uh, the Harvard class of 2025. And I think, again, this personality factor that is now a pretty big, plays a pretty big role in the entire holistic admissions process is an invented barrier, actually, an obstacle to, to target specifically Asian American students to, to limit their numbers. They use the holistic admissions process as kind of like a weapon um, to balance the, I guess, the makeup of Harvard. Systematically, they receive much worse ratings, Asian Americans, than other groups. Harvard is able to say, oh, that's why you don't deserve to get in.